um, you know, the different kind of seasonalities of when you can start CPA PEP. So a uh, candidate or pardon me, a future candidate, you know, Dell Accounting grad has all those courses, minimum grade level. Um, when can they start? They graduate in April. Um, when can they start CPA PEP for core one? So as soon as they want or up to 10 years later, right? There is a yes. lot of flexibility. So one of the things we've done um, kind of over this last year and trying to make sure that there is a pathway for everyone is increased, you know, that intake, the core one, the first module, that intake to four times a year. So there is always a core one start date around the corner. And so for those students who are motivated and ready to jump right in, there's actually an intake in May that press grads can take advantage of. So when those final grades are released in April, if they are ready to dive right in, get started in early May, get going in the program. If you want to take a bit of a breather, there's an intake in July. We just had it get started last Saturday, actually. And then, you know, one in the fall and one in the winter. So plenty of options for a start date. And that to some degree is gonna dictate what the rest of their path looks like as well. And so that's where, you know, again, I'm happy to connect with folks one-on-one so we can plan through the full thing. Because of course, while the core and elective modules, the first four out of the six modules are all offered four times a year now, so they can take those at any point, the final two capstone modules are only offered twice a year to back mm -hmm. into the two offerings of the CFI every year, right? So with the four intakes, not everyone leads to a back-to-back -back path to one of those capstone offerings. So depending when you start, you may have to take a semester off to lead into a capstone offer, right? Yeah, you may have to, or you may want to. People get you married, it. people want to take the summers off. I had one um, student and he took one module a year because he, he was in a job that he liked. He, um, you know, had some other stuff going on in his life and he was like, I want to stay connected in the program, um, but I don't, I don't want to do it all year. So he did one per year. And then um, when it came to capstones, he did capstone one and capstone two and wrote the CP and is now a CPA. So it, like you said, there really is a path for everybody. So sit down, have a conversation. If this is something that you think might be of interest, you might find out in a conversation, maybe it's not for you right now. Maybe it is for you, but not till later. Um, or maybe you want to know how can you get in and rip the bandage off and become a CPA and go live in the Netherlands or Australia. And, <laughs> and you know, like it's, it's literally different for everybody. So I'm so grateful that you're A, so open and B, like your role really is, um, has that education component at heart to make it um, accessible to, to the learners. And I think you mentioned a few other things um, as we were going over with emails and I got really excited because um, something that um, we said, you know, take a module per year and that's an option. Or if you don't like that the modules are going in eight weeks, um, you're saying that there's an, another option. You got it. Yeah. So we started offering the extended version of the core and elective modules. So those first four modules of the program, the folks are needing a little bit more time to absorb the material. And that is absolutely fine, right? If you are adjusting to a new job, you just finished going hard at a BCom for many years, and you kind of want to ease into your CK studies, the extended offering actually runs over about, you know, five months. So it's 20 weeks instead of eight weeks bringing your study time down to about 10 hours a week, which is a lot more manageable, right? And so, um, you know, maybe in particular too, for if, you, if there are students starting the path whose co-ops or relevant or work term in the past wasn't applicable. So they still are, you know, 30 months out from getting the designation because they're just now starting in a relevant role. Well, in that case, take a nice slow path through the academic part too, right? Don't rush yourself through it if you're not getting to the the CPA designation any sooner. It's a great option. And also just for students with different strengths and weaknesses, right? If you just went, oh my goodness, I can't wrap my head around taxation. This one is just not my strength. Just take that particular module in the extended format then and take some more time with it and make it a bit easier on yourself, right? Absolutely. And this it's so fascinating because I got to know uh, a learner out west, a candidate who was taking she took a few of the modules um, regular and then she 
Um, she got laid off during the pandemic and decided, hey, I'm going to take a couple of these extended. And then she went into Capstone One, um, which isn't offered extended. Um, and she did Capstone One and Capstone Two in the spring and then wrote the May Steepy. And it actually reignited her love for learning. She said she took about a week off and then started um, a, like a Coursera course on Indigenous studies and then took up other learning opportunities. So she just found like, she's like, I want to keep progressing on the path but I, I need some time. Like, you know, there's life events, there's COVID, um, there was her work and she is in such a good place now. And even just, yeah, her emails are so like much um, like enthused and it really is. You're gonna have the same designation. You write the same exams. There's no differentiator anywhere. It, it really just is, what is your life looking like? What do you want it to look like? And how can you kind of make it, make it fit? So that's really cool. Okay. So I'm glad that, yeah, these mechanisms are in place. Yeah. Um, okay, so 